finances can either build or break your relationship. Money is a touchy subject for countless couples with some data pointing to cash as the third leading cause of divorce. So this Valentine's Day, we are chatting with First Florida Credit Union's Ashley Robinson about how to get and keep couples on the same financial page. Ashley, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. We're glad that you woke up this Valentine's Day to start with us. So to start with, can you tell us a little bit more about the struggles some couples face when managing their finances together? Sure. Well, like you said, it's a difficult topic for a lot of couples, and that doesn't matter if you've been together for a really short time and are just starting to kind of have those financial conversations or if you've been together for many, many years. The fact is that we're all very different people and we have different money habits and most of those are formed way before we got into our relationships so um, we learned how to use spend and save money early on and, and that doesn't always jive with our with our partner so um, money is regularly cited as one of the uh, top reasons that couples call it quits and we'd love to see couples avoid that and it all starts with just a simple conversation those simple conversations can make a huge difference, especially when it comes to finances. So what are some of the most common money management mistakes that couples make and how can they avoid them? Well, there's one there's one really big mistake that couples typically make, and that's thinking that those financial challenges and problems are just going to go away naturally on their own. They just kind of do that wait and see approach. And, and generally, that's not how it works. You really have to sit down with your partner and look at your finances and make a decision on how you're going to manage those together successfully. And so at First Florida, we find that uh, couples usually choose one of three paths to do that. They've got the uh, merge everything together path where they put all of their money into one single account. And that's um, a great what's mine is yours philosophy. Uh, it leads to a lot of financial transparency in a relationship and it can simplify things like paying your bills together. But it takes a lot of conversation, especially if you're someone in a relationship and you're maybe a spender and they're a saver or vice versa. Uh, you have to kind of have those ground rules set for how to use that account together. Speaking of um, ground rules, can you share some smart strategies for couples as they navigate their finances? We've got about 30 seconds. Sure, sure. So it obviously starts with communication, right? But part of that communication, I'd say, is knowing your partner's money personality. That's going to be so important, how they relate to money. And you can take those quizzes online, but getting to know your partner and how they relate to money is going to really open up your financial relationship so that you can be financially successful together. You've got some of those tips up on your screen. You have them there. We'll get them online for you. Ashley, thanks again for joining us this morning. Have a happy Valentine's Day, and I'm sure we'll see you again very soon. Same to you.